the ever-changing scope of the variant state of comic books. This, my dear friends, is something that just came out. It's the Virgin variant. Now, I looked for a Virgin this morning, and I didn't see anything from a Virgin. Tonight, came out with a Virgin. It's in a, a store exclusive. Unknown Comics Collectibles, right? So you can find this exclusive cheaper at unknowncomicbooks.com. On eBay, they're going for a lot more, right? This is a CGC 9.8. And they're selling that for $65. They're guaranteeing you a 9.8 for $65. This is the first appearance of the Black Winter. Thor is my favorite character in Marvel Comics. It used to be Spider-Man. It is Thor. I still think Spider-Man is the marquee um, superhero in all of comic books. Um, but Thor is my favorite character. He has been for decades now uh, since I discovered his comics. All right, but... um. Actually, since the first time I read Thor number 300, I highly, highly uh, recommend that you guys pick that up. Thor number 300, and you can probably find it cheap and read it. And It is a magnificent co uh, a comic book to read. Anyway, look, this right here, I did not go after this, right? So what I did is I went after this one. This one is only 20 bucks. It's raw. Because I think that I can I think I can get the $65 one. Um I mean I I think I can lower that price like for the 60 like instead of 65, you know. Um we're going to be sending these to CGC uh as a pre-screen. Now, their deal that they have here is um, buy two, get one free. So even though it's 20 bucks, um, you're getting, you're getting um, three of them f um, for, uh, for, for 20, 40, for 40 bucks. For 40 bucks, you get three of them. Not bad. Not bad, you know. Uh, that's less than $15 a book. On eBay, they're already going for uh, the least that I saw them is thir uh, $30, uh, $30 each, you know. Um, so I already put that into the project. We're going to keep the second book because I can't just change my mind. I put it in there already and I bought it. So I cannot change my mind. So um, hopefully I'll be able to sell. These will not be going to CGC. I'm going to try to sell these raw, and hopefully we can flip them for uh, double the money. It shouldn't be that hard, really. Um, but hopefully we can get a type of gain for them anyway. It is a second print, and after all, it is the first cover appearance of the Black Winter, and people tend to go for um, stuff like that early on, and then the book crashes. Who knows? If this book is going to crash or not. Or if it's even going to go somewhere really. But um, it might. Only because it's his first appearance. And it is Donny Cates. But we are specking on it. For right now. Alright. Um, so. for I, I bought six of them. Uh, at $20 each. Comes out to $120. Uh, and they gave me three for free because it's buy two, get one free. So we got a nine count for $120. Not that bad for that. And then we'll see what the uh, the CGC, how many come back in 9.8s from CGC. That's the um, the whole idea. And hopefully they'll stay hot long enough for us to make some money and put some black into the loss gain column right 
that's the ultimate gain again this is who knows maybe they'll come up with something i couldn't find a a uh, production number a print count or circulation for that could not find that um on um on on the net or on this website but it is a store exclusive and um that's that all right so you guys saw how much this costs right this is just for the moderns just for the moderns alone you with this project you guys are going to see how i kind of um work this is only going to be for one book but this is going to be for one big book one big project right um hopefully that'll pan out good uh, just because i'm doing this right now doesn't mean it's going to pan out but um i'm trying to make this pan out um and as you can see, you got to put money up to make money, right? And this is putting money up. $1,607, that's for 50 books. And what does that mean? It's either I work for that, and uh, it's a bunch of sweat, or I sell books. And that's what we are doing. So some of the books that you saw are going to be sold. Now this one you guys haven't sold. On YouTube auctions, I actually do better with graded books. Because like I said, I, I don't have an IG account, so I can't see the book. So I tend to overbid. And the reason is because the sellers don't know how to grade. I'm saying that, and I hope they're listening, because... They really don't know how to grade books. Like, um, they need to learn a lot more because the grades that they give out are way too high. All right. Um, that's almost all of them. Um, but, um, you don't, you don't, if they don't believe it, see my videos. Um, but, uh, but when they sell stuff that's CGC, uh, graded or CB, CBCS, that's an actual grade. So I got this from Chad. Really good deal. He had it as a buy it now. And I should be able. I, I know how much this costs. And how much I can I can put this up for sale. And I can put it in my comic shop. And they take 10% of the entire sale. It's going to cost me obviously to send the books in. But once you send a lot of books. Your cost goes down per book. Um, so I'll be able to make at least a hundred bucks on this. And that's just for a click of a button, you know, it's signed by Stan Lee. These are one of the books that uh, I've had for centuries. And this one's going to get sold. I actually sold one uh, last month. I'm sending two Wolverines, a 9.6. You knew the 9.6 was going to be going up for sale. And uh, I'm sending one of the 9.8s. This is another one that I got off of Chad. It was a um, a twofer. It was this one and a Spawn 9.6. It's these two right here. And I uh, did the calculations and I should be able to make 50 bucks. Now, is it worth it to make 50 bucks to, you know, spend the amount of money? And you know what? A $50 bill is a $50 bill guys I mean it'll pay for the shipping at least um, actually I'm gonna spend less on shipping so it'll pay for something you know so it's a $50 bill yeah it's not a big um, actually it's probably gonna be a big return $50 probably gonna be around a 30% return on the on investment not great not really what you want but all right this is a book that i got for 80 bucks i've held this for decades as well this came back for me at an 8.0 20 years ago it's gonna get sold it's got cream pages um and it's time for it to go um i want to upgrade to uh one in the nines for luke cage this is uh one of the 9.8 that's so going to be going out i'm not sending uh, i'm only going to send two right now to yes so then um i decided to send this one out um 
yeah, I decided to send this one out. I'm probably going to break even on this deal. This is uh, one of the ref uh, 956 ref deals, right? Because of the grading and all the shipping, all the costs, it's probably, I'm probably going to break even on that deal, but I can use the money um, to pay my bills, you know, and um, pay that, pay for that right there. I can use that money for that. This is another book that I've had for a while. Uh, came back at a higher grade, and it is time to send that out as well. And then this one I got from Lead, and this one was the best deal out of the bunch of uh, the YouTube ones. Uh, this one I'm going to make over a hundred bucks on, and I'm um, deciding on sending this one in. I'm going to send this one in to um, to 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 sell to six point oh. Uh, if it would have came back at a higher grade, I might have kept it, but I'm going to sell it. This one I picked off the rack, like I told you guys, and it is going to get sold because I got the 298 and I, I'm not ready to get rid of the 198. I will be keeping the 198 in a newsstand that's staying in the collection until me dies. Um... This one is getting sold because I have a whole bunch of these and I have two nine eights right now anyway. So I am going to sell that one. This one I actually got got this on eBay um, about a year ago. Uh, raw. Uh, this is the one that had the, like the little, uh, it came damaged a little bit right there. And it had like a fold. It, it was an impact. Um but CCS pressed it out. It did not break color and they pressed it out really nice. Um, came back at 9.4. I asked for, because it the pictures that I saw from it, at the time I was paying near mint price on eBay. And I asked the seller uh, for a slight refund and he gave it to me. He gave me like a $40 refund for the whole thing. Um, so... For all five books, I ended up paying like a hundred and less than a hundred and twenty dollars because of shipping and all that. So that ended up being a great deal because a hundred and twenty and thirty three dollars to get this uh, graded. That's a hundred and fifty three, and I'm gonna sell this for at least two. I'm gonna say two fifty is what I'm gonna sell it for, and I'm still keeping number two through number five and they are lesser printings each one of them uh, is lesser printing than the other all the way up to number five uh another book that came from that collection this is going to be after the 33 dollars and it's going to be pretty much all profit um i have another one of these that i bought from i think it was apm or it could have been Thunder God that's going to be coming in uh, in 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 one uh, in in the next uh, uh, Kendra um, uh, pressings. And then this one, I this is the one that dropped from a 9.0 to an 8.5. First appearance of Abomination. Time to let this baby go. I've been waiting on Abomination to make another appearance. Um, but I don't know how long that's going to be. Um, so I'm going to let that go. And then I'm struggling to to let this one go. I don't believe I'm going to let this go anymore. I think I'm going to hoard these. See that 9.4? If I sell the 9.4, it'll probably be for like $70 to $75 for a 9.4 in a newsstand. I don't think I can do that, man. Because that book, I'm seeing it like this book right here. This book wasn't going anywhere for a while. All right. Um, now, yeah, it doesn't have the um, the rarity, especially in the nine eights that this does, right? But the newsstand, though, newsstand is something else, right? Um, I think I'm gonna hoard these, and I gotta get my 9.8 on this. I have to get it. Um, sending a whole 
bunch of new stands to try and get my 9.8. Uh, and they're all going to get pressed this time around, all of them. So I'm going to spend a lot of money to get that 9.8. Uh, I do have a comic I wanted to show you guys, not to show off, but I uh, wanted to show you just so you could see. Take a look in my mind. I bought this. This is the only book from CGC that ever came back from me. Besides those restored books and with bad news. I thought it was bad news. Came back with a, a green label. The green label is because it says manufactured without a hologram. And they gig me for it. Right? On the green label you're going to see it. Manufacturing error. I don't even know why they gig me for that. That's a manufacturing error. I mean, come on. It's like, what, it's missing something? Comes back at a 9.6. I've only seen three of these in existence. Three. One of them is a signed Stan Lee that the guy keeps putting up on eBay. He wants $50,000. Maybe one day he'll get it. But um, he hasn't gotten it yet, and every time he puts it up, it's got like over 100 watchers or something like that. Um, and I am not ready to test the waters. The other one that I see, it's in my comic shop. It's not graded. The guy wants $800 for it. it it's, um, it's, it's a raw copy. Um and it's probably in, in VF minus condition, you know. Um, but this is a treasure for me. I bought this for 20 bucks from uh, a local comic shop that closed down. Um, he moved to Florida from here. And then um, he knew, I mean, I, I, I had my Spider-Man. I was collecting my Spider-Mans from him. And he said, look what, look, look what came uh, this week. And he showed it to me. He's like, look at that. It's, it came like with, with no hologram. And then he was making fun of it. And then I said, um, I'll buy it. I'll take it from you. And he goes, all right, you can have it for 20 bucks. I was like, he, said, he even asked me. I said, you sure you want it? I mean, it doesn't have the hologram. I said, yeah, I'll take it. Sure, absolutely, man. I'll take it. It's different. You know? But look how pretty this is. I wonder if I can get a 9.8 if they clean that. Problem is, with this kind of stock, I don't want them to um, put a... Uh, put stress lines on it. This is a beautiful, beautiful beautiful book but I still want that newsstand still want that newsstand and uh, I've always loved Spider-Man 2099 because of his costume I saw that costume and I picked I picked when I picked the regular I, I didn't read this one when I picked the regular one up uh, and I read it uh, I you know I, I fell in love with the costume of 2099 but anyway, guys, um, that's uh, obviously in the collection, and I just wanted to show it to you guys. But, um, all right, so that's it. Oh, here's another one. Look, I'm having a little bit of a hard time. I don't know if I should sell this one or not. It's only a 9.4, right? Don't know if I should sell it. It is a newsstand edition. Um... I could use the money because that's only for the 50 books. That doesn't even count like the Witcher books. That's 700 and change, right? Um, and, and I also have some more bills from other books that I bought. But this is how I pay. So this is what I want to show you guys because this is how I pay for it. So these go to my comic shop. So instead of going on eBay and eBay charges you 10% um, plus the the three percent from paypal um and and it's three percent of the entire sale like we went over before right um 
before you know it, it's almost like they're charging you like 15%, uh, depending on how much, you know, it is that you're selling the stuff for. I'd rather send it to my comic shop and it's 10%. And if it's over $300, it goes down to 8%. So a book like this is going to go over 300. The last one that I sold in my comic shop, I sold for 325 out of 9.4. And uh, they only charge me 8%. And they mail you a check so you don't have to pay um, the PayPal fee. You know, it's a win-win. It's a win-win. Again, if you see a book that you want, and I do it too. If I see a book that I want on eBay and it's by my comic shop, always go to my comic shop because you'll you'll get it cheaper there. You'll definitely get it cheaper there because they upgrade the prices on eBay so that they can make up the difference, the percentages, right? Um, so, so you you won't be paying that makeup price uh for that for that book um on my comic shop i mean you that you'll pay a 3% difference but it comes out to uh less than what you would pay that's just something to keep in mind all right um i think that's it guys the next time i have another book we will see tomorrow i'm going to prepare a 25 book uh pre-screen to go to uh, CGC and we'll go over those books. All right. Oh, by the way, last thing I wanted to say um, for the Grail Project, okay? For the Grail Project, I have a few listeners that are not in the United States, they are in the UK and probably other parts of the world. I'm thinking, I mean, I don't have a lot of uh, base, right? It's only like 150 of you guys out there. And probably about 20 that just listen. But um, but if you live outside the United States, you are included in this project, guys. I'm going to mail you the books, okay? If this book pans out, Thor number 4 and a Virgin, and, and um, we get a bunch of 9.8s, and you guys win, I'm going to mail you the 9.8 because I'm hoping that this is going to hit big because if it does, I'm taking one of them and giving it to the community. All right. If it hits big, we'll see. All right. And you guys will be included. Obviously, you're going to have to win. But um, Geeky Pete, you win it. I'll mail it to you, brother. All right. Later.